What's up guys? It's your boy Lance, man, over at Crucial Garage. I am in the middle of getting ready to install um, a bed divider on my um, Tundra. So there it is, there's the Tundra 2023. And um, we need to install a t divider back here um, for when I go out and race my RC cars. I like to have so that only a partial of it I can drop the tailgate down, grab my cars out, and go about my business. I ain't gotta worry about having to jump back in here and go way deep up inside there. All right, you know what I mean? So I went online, I was trying to find something that uh, that works for here, and I cannot find anything yet for the 2022 through 2024 Tundra. And then I'll post a link to it down in the comment section, and they make one for, I believe, the uh, 14 through the 21, I think it is, Tundra. I don't quite know what the difference is between them, between, you know, the bed of them. I know what the difference is of the truck, of course, but I don't know what the difference is of the bed. I don't know if it's wider or or what. I don't know. But I believe the bed rail system is the same. That piece right there. You know, I went on eBay, ordered one, an older Tundra, and uh, we're going to try it on here. So we're going to at least see if it mounts up and uh if it maybe it's too too long or too short i don't know or maybe it's too wide i don't know we're gonna find out today because i don't think i couldn't find any videos or anything online for it so i figured i'd go through it with you guys all right now another thing also this um this tunnel cover here drops the bed rail by like i don't know what is that like an inch or so because usually it bolts up there and the, where those two black screws are up at the top where the bracket is but it drops it down to allow that bracket to fit this uh, tunnel cover. So we're gonna open this tunnel cover up, which I love. Roll this up out of the way. For now. And then uh, we're gonna get this opened up. All right, so we'll see what we got inside this package. Brackets. Right, that up. Like the side bracket. One of the side brackets here. All right, we got the brackets here. Um, bed dividers. All right, so here are the parts here. Now, <laughs> there is no instructions that came with this. I noticed that in the box. There's nothing that comes with it, but it doesn't look too difficult to uh, install, man. It looks like just a few. These probably slide up in the bed rails here. That should slide up in, up in that like that. And then, I guess, the screw, I guess, I don't know. I look at, might have to look at the pictures, but I think the, um, the adjustment screw here, this goes facing up. So this should be for the passenger side, and then this one should be for the driver's side. All right, I guess depending upon how you turn it that way or this way. So we'll probably do it, let's see. Yeah, so we'll probably put it on, on this side, All right? Yeah, yeah, that should work. So this will be the passenger side, turn it that way, and this will be the driver's side, turn it that way. All right, so, I'm assuming the first thing we need to do, and actually, let me get a tape measure because I'm just curious to see how far this comes down as compared to how far the rail is for there. Let's check that first. All right, so from the top down, you got about 18 and a eighth, 18, yeah, 18 and a eighth, 18 and a quarter, and then coming down, going down to the bed. We have a good, good 19 inches. So we should have about three quarters of an inch of, of a free play on the bottom of this thing. Should, so theoretically, height-wise, it should work. Now, 
I'm not sure what it's gonna work going across here. Um, I haven't tried that yet, so let's, let's try that next. All right, so going across may be the issue, which is no problem, because I could probably just cut, um, cut that down if need be, cut this down on the end if need be. But we're gonna try and install it just as it is and see if, um, if, it, if it is enough space. But it looks pretty tight there on the side, on that side, and on that side. So let's get these um, side brackets mounted or the driver and passenger side, and then we'll um, see what it looks like. All right, so these caps right here should pop right off. You know, just pushing a little bit and this cap pops right off. The bracket should just slide right in. All right, so the bracket definitely fits, right? The bracket definitely fits in there. Driver side, I'm gonna do the same thing for passenger side. Take it and unthread this up all the way as far as you can get it. right in like such and then it's time to get up inside this bed and tighten up these um these brackets and we got the good manual footstep if you haven't seen that uh i made a video about this in one of my prior videos so check that out All right, so we'll slide this back, and we'll try and make them the same on both sides. Let's measure this thing back. All right, two feet back. It's pretty close to the width of my RC car, so we'll tighten, tighten this up. All right, so here's one of the things we got to do. So I noticed that when I tighten up this uh, little, I guess, thumb knob, whatever you want to call this thing, I'm still loose. By probably about a good half inch. So what we gotta do, pull this back out. And then I'm gonna take this all the way loose and we're gonna cut off about, cut off about a half inch off of this thread. All right, we're gonna start by cutting three quarters of an inch off of this thing. Let's mark it. quarters of an inch we'll start there if we need to adjust it from there we'll adjust from there so here we go all right so here we are we got it all set back up and it's time to slide it back into the rail position See if it uh, tightens up real good. Or if we need to cut some more off of this thing. Perfect. So three quarters of an inch. Cut three quarters of an inch off of this uh, little thumb screw. All right, so we got it at 24 inches. Got, got it kind of snug, we'll lock this down. And then we'll go, that fits real good. That's real nice. Now we'll go do the uh, passenger side. All right, passenger side is at 24 inches. We're gonna lock this down. Like I said, cut three quarters of an inch off the threads on the thumb screw or the adjustment knob, whatever you wanna call it. All right, that's good. We got passenger side locked down. We got driver side locked down. Don't forget to put your uh, end cast back on. On both the driver side and the passenger side. All right, so I do notice that at least the back flip revolver cover should clear that that knob right there. It'll be sitting right up on top of here. So you got plenty of room for that portion of it. I don't think these rails hang down. Yeah, now nah, they all look like they're even. So it shouldn't be a problem. Let's, uh, I guess we could try it. Let's see. No problems, no problems. Roll this thing back up, get it out of the way. I love this jump, I love that cover. All right, so here we go. Time for the dividers, let's see how this thing fits. So, this should go on like such. Just slide in the top section. It slides all the way in and it fits, it fits pretty well. 
Like I said, don't not too sure what uh this other one's gonna look like, but we'll find out. Like I said, I may have to cut some off of this to allow them both to sit flush here, but that's an easy modification if that's the case. Alright, let's lower this little bracket, bracket down some. Get this piece here. Looking like we're gonna to have to do that for sure. So it's not even allowing me to get it in. Let me slide this one up a little bit. Alright. Alright, so you can see here we got a little bit of overlap. Which is no problem. That's that's this is minimal stuff right here. So we got about three quarters of an inch divided by two, which would be three eighths of an inch off each side. We'll cut three eighths of an inch off of this side and three eighths of an inch off that side. All right, so I got three eighths of an inch on this one marked off, and I got one on the other side marked off. So we're just gonna cut this real quick. Alright guys, so this is about what I cut off of this thing. Like I said, three eighths of an inch on both sides. So now it's time to get it up here, clean it up a little bit with some file and uh, actually the, the um, sanding disc, sanding pad, whatever for that. So I cleaned up the edges, edges up real good. Like I said, three eighths inch from both sides. And now we're going to try and put it back on the truck. Alright guys, so all we got left now to do is put these... Um, these little support brackets that go across the top and across the bottom and it should everything should line up and be pretty good to go slide them in on one side all the way slide them all the way like such loosen this bracket up back that up a little bit line up like such and we get some screws in here slide across now like that slide across like that line some holes up like that get some screws in it leave them loose for now so make sure everything lines up good and we'll tighten everything up. Right. And we still got a little bit of play in both sides of these things. Both sides of these brackets are still a lot of play actually, which helps us out actually. In case your cuts are a little bit off. Tighten them up with the ratchet. Nice and snug. Like 
that's tight. And we'll tighten up these uh, attachments. This is exactly what we want to keep this way. Two feet out from the edge of the bed rail. And I will show you guys in a minute why. So let me get you guys a little closer with this thing and as you can see everything turned out perfect on this man this thing is nice and sturdy i say you just gotta loosen up those two one attachment back there one attachment over here then we can slide this thing wherever we need to go in and out of the bed um it only took a couple a couple modifications um we had to cut down the attachment that attaches the bracket to the bed rail took three quarters of an inch off of that and then we had to on the end of the I guess dividers we took three eighths of an inch off on both sides now you don't have to be perfect with the three eighths of an inch there's plenty of play inside here to slide it back and forth a little bit so if you want to take out I guess probably a half inch of work but what I did was the three eighths of an inch and it worked perfect and we're going to check and see if the bed cover rolls back over top of it with no problems Works out perfect. Plenty of room. Look at that. Plenty of room on the top of there. And that's plenty of space for me to divide this up. And there it is. This is why <laughs> we had to have the divider for the back, man. My car fits perfect. Um, even my smaller cars are back here. I can adjust it if I need be. Um, but it, it, it fits perfect in there. Look at that. So I ain't got to worry about having to climb all the way back in here, reach all the way back to the back. I can actually put it in, anchor it down, using that anchor point there. There's another anchor point there. And then I can use the net back there also. But um, I am happy with this, man. I mean, it really didn't take that long. A couple of hours. And um, now we have a trunk bed divider. All right. So, guys, if you like RC, check out Crucial RC. Also, um, awesome uh, footage over there that I've been putting out on that for. I've been around here for about three years. But, um check that out if you're interested but other than that guys we have the bed divider installed and it did not take too much modifications down to you could probably do this with a hacksaw and some minor home tools some you know nothing serious you really don't need the chop saw and stuff like i had it made it a little bit easier but it's not needed if you do need to get that stuff harbor freight has it also but here you go there it is a bed divider for your 2023 uh tundra i guess it would be for 2022 to 2024 tundra with simple modifications all right all right man it's your boy lance i will holler at you guys out